the artificial retina. Dr. Garcia, I have just attended your conference about artificial retina that was given at the Centro of Tamología Buenafonte here in Barcelona. First of all, let me congratulate you on an outstanding talk. How many years have you been working to develop an artificial retina? We've been working for approximately 15 years. Who are the main members of your team? Dr. Alex Ignatiev is the head of the Center for Advanced Materials at the University of Houston. Other members of the team at the University of Houston include Dr. Ali Zamarodian and Dr. Rabi Ibrahim. Dr. Pavel Molchanov from Minsk University in Belarus and Dr. Viktor Boksha from Silicon Valley in the United States are also invaluable members. There have been many other members in the team in the past. How do you communicate on a regular basis? We maintain constant weekly communications by Skype conferences with all of these investigators anywhere they are in the world every Friday afternoon at 1 o'clock Houston time. How do you fabricate your implant? The implants are fabricated just as the most advanced microchips that you would find in your computer. They are formed by stacking atomic layers one upon the other. Would you describe your implant? The implant is a small rectangle of a ceramic oxide, which is 1.6 millimeters by 3 millimeters, with a thickness of approximately 1 micron. It may contain up to 10,000 stimulating areas. How would this be implanted? The vitreous is removed, and one makes a small blister in the retina. A hole is made in the blister, and an injector is used to place the implant under the retina. The hole is then sealed with a laser. The implant is shiny on the active side, so we can visualize that the implant is correctly placed at the end of the procedure. What outcomes do you expect? We expect the patient to be able to see the direction of lights recognize high contrast shapes, have some visual field, and visualize large objects. In what cases will you begin the implantation? We will begin with patients with no light perception or only bare light perception. We will begin with patients who have the diagnosis of retinitis pigmentosa, whose photoreceptors have been totally lost, but still have some bipolar and ganglion cells left in the retina. Is it possible to implant the artificial retina in all blind patients? We may not implant the device in patients who have lost all cell layers of the retina or have optic nerve atrophy. What are the advantages of your implant? The majority of implants that have been designed by others are placed on the inside part of the retina and inject an electrical charge that may cause heating of cell membranes. They are also limited to a small number of stimulating elements. We placed our implant under the retina, which we feel is more stable, and it does not produce heat to damage the retinal cell membranes, and we have a much higher number of stimulating elements in our implant. What is the estimated cost for the surgery of a retinal implant? Present implants are very expensive, and we feel that our cost will be less than $30,000, including surgery, and six months to one year of visual rehabilitation. Have there been human trials with your device? No. There are two approved models in the United States and Europe which have been implanted in humans. We expect our implantation to begin in 2014 for our device. Thank you very much, Dr. Garcia, for your explanations. And thank you very much, Dr. Esposito, for your time and attention.